So what do you buy, map gas or propane? Well, what do you want to do? Which burns hotter? I think those answers may surprise you. We'll give you the details when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson and you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. There's a lot of speculation out on the internet and the forums when it comes to map gas and propane. When you're wanting to solder, whether it be copper pipes, uh, whether you want to do some brazing, uh, even some of the new aluminum rods that allow you to, to braze or weld aluminum, what do you use? Do you use propane or MAP? Well, MAP, the old MAP, which was M-A-P-P, -P, and I won't get into the actual chemical background of that substance or of that fuel, but M-A-P-P -P is no longer produced. Now they have MAP Pro. Uh, so it's a different substance, if you will. But again, a lot of times you'll hear, oh, MAP burns hotter, you need to get MAP, it's gonna heat up quicker, blah, blah, blah. So I had an old propane tor torch here. I also have my new Burnsomatic TS-8000. Uh, so I, I thought, you know what, let's see. So I used my Milwaukee infrared uh, imager here so we could actually kind of get an idea of the heat map as well as the temperature. And we took some quarter inch plate or some quarter inch uh, bar stock that I had here and I thought, you know, that's gonna retain heat pretty well. We're gonna be able to heat it up, actually kind of see the heat map, see how well it does. And so I started out at 30 seconds and I thought at 30 seconds, we're gonna use the propane, heat it up, and then we're gonna take 30 seconds and heat it up with the map gas. Now each time I quenched this, brought it down to 85 to 88 degrees. So that was our starting temp on all these runs was 85 to 88 degrees. I'm not worried about the three degrees. So after 30 seconds with the propane, with <laughs> after 30 seconds with the propane torch, it was only like 150 something degrees. I think 158 degrees was the max. Now, the same 30 seconds, again, quenching this back down, bringing it back down to 85 to 88 degrees. In the same 30 seconds, we reached over 250 degrees with the MAP Pro Gas with the TS-8000. So it is a tighter flame, uh, so obviously it burns hotter, right? So 100 degree swing in 30 seconds. Now, so I thought, you know what? Let's take that up to a minute. You know, probably a little longer than what you're gonna be sweating, uh, say, pipe with, but still I wanted to see how hot and what's the difference gonna be after one minute. The propane took it up to about 250 degrees, which is basically the base at 30 seconds with the MAP Pro Gas. Uh, and then at one minute with the MAP Pro Gas was over 400 degrees, so like 402, 405 degrees. So again, even a bigger temperature swing. So the first temperature swing uh, between the two or the temperature differential was 100 degrees at 30 seconds was the differential. And then after a minute, it's 150 degrees. So you're looking at about 250 degrees for the propane and a little over 400 degrees uh, for the MAP Pro gas. And so there you have it. The MAP Pro is hotter. Not really. So I started looking again at our torch designs here and thought, you know what? I know I can't put the propane uh, tip on the MAP gas, but you can put this MAP gas or this Burnsomatic TS-8000, I shouldn't say MAP gas because this actually works on propane and MAP Pro gas. So I took this tip off, I put it on the propane, and then tested it after a minute, 418 degrees. So that's hotter than the, pro, than the, than the MAP Pro gas. So I'm not going to call it hotter. I'm going to call that close enough to call it the same. Uh, but basically what I came down to was the actual tip and how we're drawing in the oxygen or we're drawing in the air is what makes the difference here. You can see it on this tip. Number one, we got a broader flame. We got a tighter flame here. Uh, here we've got larger holes. We're bringing in more air. We're bringing in more oxygen than we are on this tip. But even more so when you look inside and inside this tip here, you see a swirl maker. In other words, uh, it swirls the flame. Uh, so you can see in the picture here, you can get down and actually see the throat versus on this tip. So I think it's more about tip geometry and how we're integrating that oxygen into that tip to make that hotter flame and to condense that flame on there because you saw just a good of heat output with the propane gas as you did the Mat Pro. So there you have it. I hope it answered some questions there for you. But check these out. You can get the Burnsomatic TS-8000 kit uh, from Home Depot. Just the torch kit is going to cost you about $42. If you get it with the tank, it's going to be about $54. But 
the tank costs 12 bucks, so you're not saving anything. So buy the tank and buy the tip. But again, the tip's gonna work on your Map Pro or your propane tank. So I really like the tip. Also like the fact that instant on. So you pull the trigger and it's on. You know, as long as your gas is on, pull the trigger, it's on. Also, if you wanted a constant on, that's the button up here. So pull the trigger and now you've got constant on. Pull the trigger, turns it off versus this where you're having to have a lighter or a match or a striker to actually light that. So really easy to use the burns o -Matic TS-8000. Check it out from Home Depot. Also make sure you smash that like button and the subscribe button if you like this video. And be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day.